Greetings, Ben here with another edition of SAS Metric School. Welcome, hope everyone's doing well. So today talking about retention analysis when we have two revenue streams, and this is really common. And it's very dangerous to run aggregate retention analysis on multiple revenue streams. If we have multiple recurring revenue streams, same thing with aggregate benchmarks, that's another episode. But if we have say subscription revenue and usage-based or any sort of variable revenue stream, what are we gonna do here? So with retention analysis, of course, retention, what is this? Well, we typically talk in gross revenue retention or net revenue retention. I've covered that in previous episodes. So if we have subscription revenue, we have variable revenue. When we look at retention, I'm going to run this separately. So I'm gonna take my subscription revenue stream and that MRR waterfall, that MRR schedule, and run retention analysis on that. And then I'm gonna take my variable revenue schedule, that could be usage, processing, consumption, whatever it is, and run retention on that. And we're gonna look at the analytics, look at the gross revenue retention, net revenue retention for the, both those schedules, what is it telling me? And then I'm going to combine those and see if that tells an even better story. Is it moving up and to the right? Is it very seasonal where we have to take maybe 12 months over 12 months look to smooth out any fluctuations to try to sort of tease out a, a, a story out of that numbers. So again, if you have multiple revenue streams, subscription and variable revenue, don't run aggregate retention first, run it separately, see what it says first, what's the story there, then combine to see if it tells a better story. And of course, we're gonna do this, one, as an operator, but two, see if that can support our overall valuation picture if we have nice sticky variable revenue that we can frame up just like subscription revenue. And also one final note here, same thing. Say we have SMB versus enterprise customers and subscription revenue. We don't wanna run that together. We want to run those separately because the demographics of SMB versus enterprise are so different and the expectations on the performance of those two types of customer groups are very different. So same thing applies there. So a little bit about retention analysis and if we have multiple revenue streams, hope you enjoyed it.